morning everybody, it's Emily from Emily Loves London and today I'm doing my very first book review on my vlog and basically the way I'm going to do these is they're going to be five minutes, fingers crossed. Um, I'm basically going to give a, tell you what the book is and then a one minute synopsis and then a few bits on my thoughts of the book and then the characters I hated and the characters I loved and my favourite quote from the book. So let's get down to it. Um, the book I'm reviewing today is See How They Lie and it's by Sue Warman and I absolutely loved this book. It thrilled me to the end, literally and beyond. <laughs> Um, and basically this is about a girl called May who lives in the Hummingbird Creek which is a psychiatric facility for young adults and um, she's not sure what her place is in sort of society and in the creek and she's just trying to figure out who she is and where she comes from and in sort of all of that there is this sort of conspiracy who um, with the head of the creek who's called Hunter Ballard and what he's actually giving the um, kids uh, to help them through their troubled times uh, which is essentially a vitamin and they don't actually know what the vitamin is and it's affecting them in a bad way. Um, my thoughts, I absolutely loved it, it definitely thrilled me to the end, it was a really nice take, like you didn't feel like it was too much of a thrill um, seeking book and you felt like you really connected with the characters as well um, on a personal level which I really liked and also um, it didn't she did it really well because obviously this is for young adults and it's not for adults adults <laughs> so when you do thrillers for young adults you've really got to dial down sort of the violence and sort of the connection between um, the thrill and daily life you kind of have to make it um, a bit more PC but I think what she didn't make it too PC which is a lot of what happens when you see the when you read kind of YA um, or younger adults sort of middle grade thrillers um, here she kind of kept the suspense and the mystery behind the thrill really well throughout the book and you never felt I didn't, I actually even didn't feel like I was reading a YA, I felt like I was reading it, like an adult book, but it definitely could be read by YA age and younger because it's not too thrillery in that genre, if you know what I mean, if I'm making sense, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, I really, really liked it. In terms of the characters, I loved May. She was a fantastic sort of inspirational character, especially to young girls, to always like um, find your way in life and um, always strive for something better uh, than what you have. I hated Hunter Ballard. He is the guy uh, that runs the creek, and I just I couldn't stand him. He was he was an awful character, but you were supposed to hate him anyway. I mean, there was no way you could like understand well you could understand him but you could in no way kind of like like understand him if you know what I mean you know when you like someone and you also understand them you you'll understand um, in terms of Noah I loved Noah as a character I thought he was a fantastic companion to May um in terms of developing the story and um building a relationship towards what the unknown was and what the outside world was like. Uh, in terms of Drew, so Drew is, plays a big part um, as he is one of the, not the patients but um, the star kids um, in the facility. He plays a big part in the first part of the novel and I really didn't like him. I didn't like him at the start and I didn't like him at the end which is really sad because you know I think the point was to have him liked at the beginning and then not liked at the end so you know I didn't like him at all he was not one of my favourite characters and uh, lastly just to put in my favourite quote from this book would is on page 305 so it's right near the end um, I can't really tell you much about it because I want to keep this non-spoilery um, but this is sort of 
this is a very inspirational quote towards the end of the book um, where they're rallying up against what's happening and it says <clears throat> I uh, I closed my arms round her small body. Will's words come back to me. Maybe you don't understand how tightly some of us bond here. I just love that. I thought that was sort of a really great summing up um, kind of quote of the book that really gives us an insight and also um, a beauty in the way she writes this. Um, because it is such a beautiful book and I really enjoyed it. So I am giving this a 5 out of 5 stars. I will leave the Goodreads link down below and I, you should definitely check it out. I'm going to be reading the next one probably. So the other one she wrote uh, that is uh, lying about last summer. Probably about next month. Um, and yeah, you should go check this out. Okay guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm actually videoing this on Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Um, have a fantastic day, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button, button, button below to see more of me. I'll see you soon guys, bye!